Hello and hi guys. My name is Mama Arsha bin Arsil. My matrix number is 01 DPK 23 F1102. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Amir Hakim bin Jasmir Rizal. I'm from DPK 1C and my matrix number is 01 DPK 23 F1094. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Asyamir Roslan I'm from DTK1C And this subject is Engineering Mathematics uh, My matrix number 01 DTK23 F1114 Introduction Trigonometry, the branch of mathematics concerned with specific functions of angles and their application to calculations. There are six functions of an angle commonly used in trigonometry. Their names and abbrevi abbreviations are sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. These six trigonometric functions in relation to a right triangle are displayed in the figure. For example, the triangle contains an angle A and the ratio of the side opposite to A and the side opposite to the right angle, the hypotenuse, is called the sine of A or sin A. The other trigonometry functions are defined similarly. These functions are properties of the angles A independent of the size of the triangle and calculated values were tabulated for many angles before computer made trigonometry tables obsolete. This are uh, my part. Uh, application trigonometry in baseball. Baseball has often been called America's national pastime. The game is played on a field that consists of four bases. These four, these four bases create the corners of a large square that is called the baseball diamond. Each side of the diamond has a length of 94 feet. Right triangle trigonometry can be used to determine how far a ball must be through between base. The law of cosines and law of sines can also be used to determine how far a ball must be through and how far how far a baseball player needs to run from at the location on the field. Now we are gonna do some question. And the question is, use the law of cosines to determine how far first base is from the pitcher's rubber, which your answer into feet and inches, and explain how you got it. Now, let's look at the question. Hypotenuse is equal to 90, and the adjacent is equal to 60.6. .6. Now, we're going to assume the opposite is a x. So, x square equal to hypotenuse square minus adjacent square so we're gonna put the numbers and we'll, it will become x square equal to 90 square minus 60.6 .6 square so we're gonna calculate the right hand side first and it will become 4427.64 after that we're gonna move the power of 2 to the right hand side and it will become uh, it will become the square root so we're gonna put the square root to the right hand side and we're gonna calculate this and after that uh, we're gonna get 66.54 the conclusion is trigonometry is very useful in determining the unknown side of a specific angle in this variable activity the concept of the right triangle in trigonometry is very bad to use. Moreover, we are able to apply the knowledge learned in the analysis of right angle in determining the height of a remote point. Trigonometry can be used in many fields such, such as the spot which they can help in calculating many things. We think that it is a good and many people do not have to go through trouble to calculate something. Okay, thank you.